rather than regulation because this government and the free market doesn't have regulation so we don't regulate and so it, it, it says on its website the cabinet wants to find intelligent ways to encourage support and enable people to make better choices for themselves it's easily based on the assumption that the cabinet always makes the best choices and the rest of us make bad choices and some of it is absolutely bewildering here you get a headline called consumer empowerment giving consumers access to data held about them in electronic format by firms this program is called my data is likely to revolutionize the relationship between customers and firms overcoming a host of behavioral biases well i i i don't understand what that means i really don't and i i assume it means something like i phone up marks and spencer i look on the website for the reverend paul nicholson and i find wow i bought josh rogan last week i mean that, that's the sort of level it seems to be yeah i can't see what use it's going to be and which was yes exactly exactly uh so time again uh, we've been told that it's all about changing behavior of the poorest and they justified this disgraceful bill with the help of a biased tabloid press and they insult millions of the unemployed they are the dependency culture in a dependency culture that scrounges work time and the burden on the taxpayers when the need to work is built into the dna of all but very very few of us and if we're going to have an ethical and moral uh, we've got to get our lending under control, our interests under control, and we've got to put the poor first, which I hope I've illustrated is quite simply not happening and is not being done by British government. Thank you very much, Reverend. Okay, over to you, folks. Uh, by the way, this is December, uh, uh, Christmas is living. It's great to have uh, Christians, Muslims, and people of Jewish uh, background here. Uh, I think uh, Jesus, uh, may peace be upon him, he'll be smiling upon us. Okay, now, um, uh, as I said, it's meant to be two-way traffic. So, um, your, your questions and indeed uh, comments are most welcome. Anyone who would like to speak, please, if you raise your hand.